Hey everybody, so with the NHL season quickly approaching, wanted to stop and take a minute to talk about captains, particularly new captains who are taking over the sea with their respective teams for the first time this season. Now, there are three new captains in the NHL this year as far as right now. Again, this is something that could change over the next few days if more teams decide to name a captain. There are still a number of teams that do not have anyone wearing the C. Now, Ottawa, we know, is not. They've decided to go with three alternates and no one wearing the C, but there are some other teams that could potentially name captains between now and the start of the season, and we don't know if they're going to do that or not, or just roll with alternates and not have anyone wear the C. But before we begin, I just ask that you please hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. Both of those things help out a lot and are greatly appreciated. But so far, we have three new captains in the NHL this year. The first one that was named was Ryan O'Reilly of the St. Louis Blues. So obviously, the Blues' former captain, Alex Petrangelo, leaves in free agency, goes to the Vegas Golden Knights, and that opens up the C in St. Louis. And St. Louis decided to go with Ryan O'Reilly, and I completely agree with this. O'Reilly was my pick for Blues captain. Um, and, and there were some people thinking it could go some to someone else, but to me, O'Reilly was a clear choice. Now, Vlad Tarasenko, there was a media report that got out that said he was not happy with being passed over for the captaincy, um, and, and he wanted to be the one to get that C because he's worn an A for a number of years. He spent his entire career in St. Louis. The problem with Tarasenko is he has missed so much time over the past couple of seasons. I, I don't think you could give Tarasenko the C because of the amount of time that he's missed. You, if Your captain needs to be someone who's in the lineup on a regular basis, someone who's in the locker room on a regular basis, and there to captain the team. And Vlad Tarasenko missed a lot of time last season. He's going to miss a good chunk of this season as well. He's had a lot of shoulder injuries and surgeries, and he just hasn't been in the lineup a whole lot. And I think that played a big role in why he was passed over for the captaincy because he's just not in the lineup enough to be wearing the C. And, and O'Reilly, to me, is the one that fully deserved it. I mean, since Ryan O'Reilly has gotten to St. Louis, he has taken them from being a good team and has made them a great team. I mean, in, in, in 2019, they won the Stanley Cup. O'Reilly won the Conn Smythe Trophy as the uh, playoff MVP. And he really led the way for that team uh, offensively and, and as their best forward throughout that Stanley Cup run. So, um, and then last year, obviously, it was a little disappointing to St. Louis in the playoffs getting bounced in the first round by Vancouver, but they were one of the absolute best teams in the league in the regular season. The playoffs had a, obviously a lot of extenuating circumstances around it with the long layoff between the regular season and the postseason, the bubble, no fans, and just being away from your families and all of that. The, the playoffs last year were certainly a lot different than a normal NHL playoffs, so I don't really hold that against O'Reilly or the Blues, um, and, and again, since he's come to St. Louis, he's been a great leader for that team, an offensive, you know, guy who's, who's put up big numbers and a great two-way player as well. And I certainly agree with Ryan O'Reilly being named captain of the Blues. Next, we had the Minnesota Wild named Jared Spurgeon captain this offseason. And this one came as a bit of a surprise to me. I thought it was going to be Ryan Suter. Uh, there was also talk about it maybe being Zach Parise, um, but Jared Spurgeon gets the C, and he's spent his entire career with the Minnesota Wild, which again, I think played a big role in why he got it as opposed to some other people, and he's a very well-respected veteran now in that Wild locker room, and Parise and Suter both have been wearing A's for years now, and they will continue to serve as the alternate captains, but the actual C goes to Jared Spurgeon, and that's an interesting one. Um, again, I was expecting it to be Ryan Suter, but uh, they they decide to go with Spurge, and Spurgeon has uh, has you know been a good 
defenseman for the Minnesota Wild for a long, long time now. And I think because he spent his entire career with Minnesota, that really, you know, helped in the decision to make him captain. And he's just been a, a cog in their lineup now for, for the past, got to be almost a decade at this point. So, um, you know, they decide to go with him and, and he takes over as the captain there with Miku Koivu leaving and uh, Suter and Parise remain alternates. And then that leads us to the newest one, the one that we just found out the other day, Patrice Bergeron taking over as the captain in Boston. Now, we all knew this was coming. As soon as Zdeno Chara left, Bergeron was going to be the next captain. Um, Bergeron could have been captain four or five years ago, but Chara was still there. And as long as Chara was still there, he was the one wearing the C. He had been captain for that team for a long, long time. And Bergeron was just waiting his turn. Uh, he was more than capable of it, but he was waiting his turn. And then, obviously, this offseason, Zeno Chara leaves for Washington in free agency. And uh, Bergeron now becomes the captain, something we all knew was going to happen. It was just a matter of time, and now that time has come. So I'm a huge, you know, Patrice Bergeron's my favorite player. He's my favorite Bruin. He's my favorite player in the league. He's been an incredible leader for the Bruins throughout his career. He spent his entire career with Boston. Um, he he obviously has played a huge role uh, on being being on some of the best Bruins teams we've had. Um, he's won a Stanley Cup. He's been to two others. He's one of the best two-way forwards to ever play in the NHL. He's a four-time Selkie Award winner. Um, there, there, there's, just no, there's so much I could say about Patrice Bergeron. He was the obvious choice with the Bruins. He's been a huge piece of this team and a huge leader for this team for the past number of years. And now he finally gets to wear the C on his chest, and he certainly deserves it in Boston. And um, absolutely the right choice for the Bruins. It was just a matter of time. So those are your three new captains that we know of so far. Again, it remains to be seen if any of the teams that with, uh, with a vacancy at captain right now decide to add anybody or if they just go with alternates and, and continue to not have a, a captain for this season. But, um, you know, Ottawa we know is not. Vegas still doesn't have a captain. Um Detroit doesn't have a captain, the New York Rangers, the New Jersey Devils don't have captains. So there are some teams out there that could potentially add to this list or maybe just go with all A's this season, which uh, a lot of them have been doing. So that does it for this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store and donation link are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.